Good. So now we gotta talk about that main event. We have to. We have that to. was a fire main event. The fight of the night. Yeah. Well, it was. Well, I'm asked, I don't know. I think it was fire. I mean, that's what Dana said. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. There's no two ways about it. What do you want to know about it? I want to know. Do you think the judges got it right? Wow, you right out the gate with the question. Right out the gate, like I know because you weren't impressed by the fight, mm -hmm. so I can't talk about the fight with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So now I just mm -hmm. gotta talk about the outcome. No, I was I was impressed by the fight. I mean, honestly, it felt to me a lot like that first fight, just because it was such a close fight. Yes. Right. So I enjoyed the fight thoroughly. To answer your question directly, who won the fight? I think it could have gone either way, baby. Okay, that's your answer. Think, Just sitting on that fence. I think it could have gone either way. Okay. Um, where are you at with it? I'm at, uh, you know what, I'd love to give you a definitive answer. Okay. I'm almost at the point where I'm going to say I don't care who won the fight. I, I don't care because at the end of the day, it was a close fight. Yep. So there's no controversial decision. So anytime mm -hmm. you see the word controversial, that's incorrectly used. That's it was right. just a closely contested fight. Anybody could have won the mm -hmm. fight. The judges saw it going to Whitaker. And it was a split decision. And it was a split decision, which shows you that, okay, two mm -hmm. of the three judges saw it Whitaker's way, mm -hmm. give it to him. I like the fact that at least, and I can sleep well at night <laughs> knowing that Whitaker retained his belt. Because mm -hmm. I would have hated a close decision and you have a new champion. Then it's kind of like that old adage where you got to beat the champ to be the champ. And I'm a big fan of that old adage. Right. I think you really do have to beat the champ. So for that same reason, I can't get mad about the fact that Whitaker retained his belt. Right. Um, I think the bigger issue at play here, though, is that there's a bit of an issue with MMA scoring as it exists right now. And it'll be super interesting to see how that shit changes as the sport goes forward. Follow me here, because who did the most damage in that fight? Romero. Undeniably Romero, yes. right? Yes. And so in a fight where it's just a 10-9 round and there was no 10-8 rounds, which is a whole other topic right. in and of itself, right. Right? but in a, in a fight where if you win the round, it's 10-9 and there's just not enough of a lead that you can develop in a yes. five-round fight when you're only scoring 10-9s, yes. especially if the judges are being stingy with the 10-8s. Maybe that needs to be kind of cleaned up in terms of... Because Romero did, knock, did, did uh, rock him twice mm -hmm. in that fight, mm -hmm. in the third and the fifth. And so to count that as the same as the other rounds mm -hmm. isn't necessarily reflective of what it's, we are yeah, seeing. It's not, it's not accurate. But that being said, I mean, I personally don't know a better scoring system. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did watch Old School Pride. I did watch all, uh, other events in, in Japan. And obviously they score it differently and they score it as a whole mm -hmm. fight and even have a 10 minute first round. But at the end of the day, when you do the 10-9 scoring system, you, this is going to happen, you know mm -hmm. I mean? I, I don't know if there is a better way to judge the fight based on 25 minutes unless yeah. you don't give one minute between rounds, judge it on an entirety of a fight, but then again, judges will be biased for the last 10 minutes as opposed to the first 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to break it into segments. Um, you do. I mean, I, I look at it as, let's just, let's not try to reinvent the whole wheel, but let's just clean up what a 10-9 round is because in my mind, a 10-9 round is probably a round where the fighter barely beats the other person. Okay. That's a close round, 10-9, right. right? If it's, oh, he beat him decisively, that's already a 10-8. Yes. He destroyed him and knocked him down, 10-7. Okay. Which really starts to create more divide in these rounds so Fair. that maybe we can kind of get more accurate. Almost like the two knockdown, or the knockdown rule in boxing, mm -hmm. you know? And, mm -hmm. and do that, like it's automatic 10-8 when you knock the person down, mm -hmm. in that sense, you know? So yeah. maybe you're right. Some 10-5 rounds, I, I, I just want to see more... I just want to see crazier. crazier. Feel, I'm with you. I'm with you. Listen, the rightful winner won. Yeah. Robert Whitaker. We're happy for you, Reaper. Reaper. Yeah, yeah. Rest up. He did well. He did well. Yeah. You know, he had a broken hand, and that was pretty but, impressive, yeah, too, that round, he was he throwing elbows two, so. and that doing guy, everything he could. And that guy can't be finished, which is incredible as well. Like, yes. why is it that you get hit by the hardest striking person on planet Earth, yes. and you just recover like what is what is he I don't it, fantastic yeah. it is fantastic and and like his evolution is very impressive mm -hmm. because when he came in as a 170 pounder like he was okay but I never saw this He's rise. Back in, back him versus Gaslam would be a cool fight eventually but that's mm -hmm. not the point of the story and we've been talking a long time it's been a long video already yeah. can we end this they're probably getting tired of us at this point Who's <laughs>